Welcome to Motivational Moment. I'm Coach Rosa Smith Montaner, your training and workshop coordinator with Rochester Works. And we are on a roll with a series. It's on starting your new year with a fresh start. Wouldn't you like a fresh start? A fresh start. <laughs> Don't you sometimes say, uh, gosh, can I have a do-over? Has anyone else ever said that? I know I have many times. And you can, you can have a fresh start. And uh, you know, I could have easily just stopped this recording and re and erased the beginning and started over again because you know I, I glitched my words a little bit. But I, here's what I want you to know: it doesn't need to be perfect to have a fresh start. Start where you are. It's okay. We wait till everything's perfect. We we wait till we think everything is exactly as it should be, and then we start to make positive changes. Don't do that. Follow my lead. I'm an example of this to you. Even if when I step over myself. Even when I stumble, I still keep moving forward. And guess what? It makes you stronger and makes you more confident and it gets you to the finish line. It really does. It gets you further along. Now, this week's theme is being it, being it on the inside. So we're talking about a fresh start. We're talking about this new year. What do you see for yourself, right? I talked about last week, the power of your intention. What is your intention? Well, what I want to talk about this week is take that intention and I want you to turn it into a clear image, a very clear image. Like, what do you see for yourself? Do you see yourself in a, a role where you're interacting with people or maybe you're working, at, you're researching something one-on-one -on -one and you're doing it on your own? Maybe there's only one person at a time or you're just dealing with you know, your craft and you're doing it in isolation, but you're loving it, I want you to get a clear image of what this intention looks like, visually looks like. See yourself doing it and step into it like it's real and try it on and say, you know what, how does that feel? How would it feel? Like if you were, I remember I was working with someone who's going to become a hairstylist. And I would say, just imagine how, what it feels like. Someone comes in, they're there to see you. They're one of your regulars, one of your favorite clients. And they sit down and you're cutting their hair and you're having a conversation and they're laughing and you're having a great time. And they, before they leave, they schedule the next appointment. Be there. You have to see it in your mind. It will manifest in the outside world after you see it in the inside world. Okay. Very, very important. Get a clear image. Second piece of this wonderful, wonderful exercise is put together a vision board. You know, vision boards are powerful. Vision boards have a lot of value and it doesn't have to be a gigantic poster board. It could be a, a, you know, an eight by 10 little short version, small version of some snippets of what sparks you, what helps you remember where you're going. Maybe it's milestones. You know, I know on my vision board, I've had things like um, my first sale, then maybe when I was doing my, my online business, then the next milestone. You know, I, I remember having it at different milestones, $1,000 in sales and $10,000 in sales. And it was, it's encouraging because there's smaller milestones you can get there. So a vision board, maybe seeing, I have one, uh, I have one that I love, by the way, and it's um, me in front of a group doing a presentation. And it was so many years ago, my friends, uh, I want to say 2002, that was 20 years ago. I was not fully employed uh, as an instructor or trainer. I mainly had a private practice, but I wanted to get more speaking engagements. And someone asked me to do a leadership talk and I did it. They took a picture and they put it in their newsletter and I loved it. And I cut that picture out and I put it on my vision board. It's still on one of my vision boards because I love it. It reminds me of my intention. My goal was to do more as a speaker and a trainer. So that vision board tells your brain where you're going and pre-sends that image. It says, hey, it, this is where we're going. It's comfortable to us. This is where we belong. Now, the other thing that helps you do that is a visualization, is literally imagining it's true, stepping into it in your mind's eye and imagining I'm at this place. I'm having this great conversation, just like I mentioned with the hairstylist. Because the, the, the brain doesn't know the difference between imagination and reality. It, it doesn't actually know that the same parts of the mind light up. 
And when you light up those neural pathways, when you light up that part of the brain, something magical starts to happen. Your brain starts to look for another experience like it. It knows what it can do. It repeats those patterns and it will find another one just like it. And before you know it, you'll say, wow, this is familiar because you've done it in your mind a thousand times. And the final piece to this is to being it. Ask yourself this very powerful question. If I believed this intention, this vision, this that I'm it right now, it's true for me, what action would I take right now? What action would I take right now? That's empowering. So if you say, I have a job I love with people I adore, and I make an abundance of money doing it, what would you do right now if you totally believed it was true? I bet you'd update that resume. I bet you'd throw your name in the hat for that job. I bet you'd have that conversation with somebody. You would. It's a very empowering question. So this week's focus for coaching you, be it, get a clear image of where you're going, create a vision board around it. Even if it's five pictures, it's okay. Even if it's on your phone, doesn't matter. Get an image clearly that you could see, that you could post somewhere. You have your mantra you've been saying. Now visualize it in your mind, see it in your brain. Imagine it's real, feel it. Ask yourself the powerful question. If I knew this was true for me, what would I do right now? What step would I take? Take the step. It doesn't have to be a, ma a major step. It could be a small step. I hope this was helpful. We are on a roll. We're going to continue our series. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, like our page, uh, subscribe to our channel, share the video. So fortunate and blessed that I could spend this time with you. Thank you so much.